All right, this is more gathering, and this is for trims. It's called ruching, and you see it a lot in period costumes, especially 18th century stuff. You can finish ruching off with uh, um, your pinking scissors, or you can just leave it flat. The Victorians often uh, left it flat and then uh, fringed the edges, and you'll see that in some of the research material uh, when you're busy looking at your... Uh, bodice and dress research project. We're going to use pinking shears because it's nice and tidy. And you can often tell the age of a garment by how much is left of the ruching. You're going to cut your ruching according to the requirements and you're going to set the machine up on a basting stitch. And this kind of ruching is pretty simple. You're going to run two lines of gather up the center on starting on the wrong side and you're going to put those two lines quite close together. You don't want to cross them or catch them or you won't be able to gather. So we'll do that. Um, and as you can see, if you don't hold the fabric, it wants to gather by itself. So you want to hold it, not stretch it, but hold it. So you have a fighting chance when you go to do that second line of gathering. And like any gathering, you leave a tail end. I just ran out of bobbin thread. But I can show you the next trick anyway. So then, once you've done two lines of gathering thread that are close together, you're going to find those ends and pull up the ruching. Now, like any trim, you want to have some life in your ruching. So you don't want to pull it up so tight that you can't see your lovely gathers. Um, it should be... Uh, bouncy and pretty and there goes my battery so the also the other thing you don't want to look see is diagonals you want these to be uh, parallel the little folds are parallel to uh, themselves so that is doing plain ruching you are going to hand stitch uh, your other ruching but this ruching you can stitch to your sample right down the center uh, using a regular size stitch. So you're going to machine the plain ruching onto your sample.